Hey everybody, it's your boy the Green Talent coming to you with a video of quite some importance. Um if y'all haven't heard, um it has been speculated for the past two weeks now, I believe, about offensive guard Brandon Brooks. Um this is a guy who has had two knee injuries in the past four years as an eagle. He Hurt his knee. He he he, he blew out his ACL, his right knee, this season, and in 2018, with also oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me change that. So 2021, he blew out his right knee. 2019, he blew out his left knee. Yeah, that's right, his left knee. And he came back to play strong in 2020, only to get injured again. This past season, so he had, as he had two of the last two, uh, two, 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 two knee injuries and different knees in the last four years as an eagle, and so maybe this time bad luck had struck the offensive guard because when he also with the, also with the Texans, he has had so he also had he also had had, a, had a also an injury history with the Texans. And so that one reason why the Texans never um, re-signed him. So the Eagles picked him up, got him as a bargain, a bargain deal when they, when they signed him back in 2017, I believe, which is the year that he played. They the year that he played and won help him won a Super Bowl. So, 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 so he do got a Super Bowl ring with the Philadelphia Eagles in the first year as, as an Eagles offensive guard. Um, it's been speculated that the Super Bowl winning. Offensive guard plan to retire when this season when um retire this season. You know what I'm saying? And so which is a good thing because the Eagles signed to a long term contract back in, back in two thousand and eighteen, I believe. Eighteen, seventeen, eight no, I'm sorry, two thousand nineteen they signed to a long term deal. And he was he, 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 he was at the time the high pay offensive guard in the NFL, but two thousand twenty the year after he signed a new contract, the the Eagles um we, they redid his contract, and so they actually gave him um uh, what they call they re redid his contract and they gave uh, I think they shortened his years, and um they gave him more money up front and shortened his year because I think I think he signed a five year a five year contract, and so they took away I think one year. Of that deal and gave and gave it gave it up uh, up front signing bonds when he signed the contract and so now he has two more years left on that deal I think it's like sixteen or seventeen million did this coming season and the last year I think like ten or fifteen million too and what I believe I think I posted I think I posted once before on Facebook of his um of his new contract that he signed back in two thousand and nineteen. And uh, like I said, he he hurt his knee in 2020. 2020. Oh, hurt his knee 2019. He he hurt his knee the year they signed new contract. In 2020, they they reworked the deal, I believe. And 20, he didn't get a reworked deal this this year after he hurt his knee again. And he he in the knee he hurt. He didn't hurt it in playing in a preseason game or a real season game. He, he hurt his knee in practice, non-contact. And the first time he hurt his knee as an eagle, I think he played it in one. I think he played it in a, in a regular season game and that ended his season. So if you look at the situation of, of what what he had done with the Eagles overall and, and how he hurt his knee, it's just strange. It's kind of like it's bizarre. To me, a bizarre knee injury is when it's non-contact. A non-contact injury is bizarre. Um, but hurting your knee, but blowing out your knee in the regular season game or preseason game, for that matter, you in contact, and so um, that's when and anything can happen injury wise. Cause that's why the, 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 when you when preseason games are done, like I guess it used to be four, nine, three. When preseason games are done. The, the stars don't play unless the, unless the, unless the third or fourth game of the other preseason, preseason series. And so now we're being three games last year and, and more likely will be three games game this year. Uh, regular stars don't play.
They play they play either the third or the fourth game, but like I said, nine nine down to three. So pray us what we'll play in the third game of the season. So but I like I said I, I don't mean to get off track, but overall, it's just ridiculous for one of the best offensive guys in football is to blow out his knee. And so now I just got to look at I think Eagle Zone, I believe. I think Eagle Zone and someone posting posting on Facebook. And they saying that he had decided to retire as an Eagle, so I'm not quite exactly sure what's going to happen after after this season. Because now, with him retirement, the Eagles going to save almost close thirty five, almost close thirty million dollars in salary cap space, which is going to which are going to accumulate with the money they got now. I think I think they got fourteen million in cap space saved. So you add that 25, 30 million to it, that 40 million right there. And so with that, so with that 40 million, and then with the um new cap number that's gonna come out this year, the Eagles are gonna have somewhere close to 35 minutes. The Eagles gonna have somewhere close to 45 or 50 million dollars in, in, in cap space to sign whoever they want to sign this offseason. So that's what so the Eagles should be able to bring in at least two players. If the Eagles can if the Eagles can bring it, if the Eagles don't draft the linebacker, they can at least bring one via free agency to a two or three year contract. You know what I'm saying? Because we all know, like we all, we all know, high roles like signing um, uh, 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 um, players off the street to one or two year, to one two or three year deal, depending on the status of their contract or status of their health and injuries. So the Eagles took a chance on Brandon on, on, on Brandon Brooks. Back in, back in 2017 season, because like I said, the, the, the three or four years that he was with Texans, he had an injury play career with them. That's why they, they never re-signed him. And so when it comes to the Eagles, he played real well from 2017 to 2019 before the injury. So if you look, if you, if you look at that overall, uh, what, what was it? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. He, he played five years with the Philadelphia Eagles. Of those five years, he only had two injuries. So those, 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 those three or five years as an Eagle, he played real well. And them years, he went to the Pro Bowl. He, he, went, he went to the Pro Bowl in 2018. I mean, 17, he went to the Super Bowl, Pro Bowl 2018, and Pro Bowl 2020 before before the injury. Before the injury. So you got to look at all of that as a possibility of his retirement. So I wish you nothing but the best, you know what I'm saying? Because see, now, like I, like I mentioned in, in his video recently, his retirement saved the Eagles a very large, respectable um, salary cap base overall. And like I said, they got $14 million in cap space now from this past season. That past. With Brandon Grant now retiring, or the speculation, we really don't know yet. Cause I just went, I just, I just, I just googled him a minute ago, and Google don't know say anything about him retiring. They, they still saying he's a play for the Philadelphia Eagles. So it might. So Google might upgrade it uh, sometime between now and Monday, when 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 it's, when it's actually official that he's official retires as an Eagle. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, we 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 don't we don't know yet. It's just speculation, but I'm quite sure. Like I said, I looked on the Eagle Zone. Eagle Zone said that he's going to retire as an Eagle. So, I mean, he gave the team word that he's going to retire. So, but if for as Google concerned, Google has to upgrade their status of Brandon, of Brandon Brooks and force him being an Eagle and he's retiring. So, so right now, it's just a speculation. We don't know for sure, but it's just a rumor. But the rumors seem to be true because if Eagle Zone have it and if it's being um, documented on the Eagles app, then the information that we broadcast that I'm telling you guys right now is at, is, is very accurate on his retirement. Um, other YouTubers have, have already made a video on this before, but like I said to them, it was a rumor, and so now I'm bringing it to you guys to, for the forefront because I think my information now that I'm that I'm bringing to you guys is true. Brandon Graham is going to retire as a Philadelphia Eagles officially when the season comes to an end. So, uh, with him retiring, like I said, Google haven't updated, haven't updated the information yet. 
But for right now, it's just the rumor. And I believe what they speculated on Eagle Zone and on the Eagles app and through all our social media it, it out social media outlets. Brooks have gave his word to the Eagles over the that he's gonna retire as an Eagle. So that's what I want to bring to you guys right quick because I know that the information about Brooks was at point a rumor, but he may have been contemplating retirement beforehand. Um, probably, probably, probably after the first knee injury he had as an Eagle. Like I said, he'd been injured. He'd been injured play before the Eagles signed him. So we took a chance. We won with him. You know what I'm saying? He got two bowl ring as an Eagle. I think he has a hundred and some starts as an Eagle, which is which is kind of like top ten overall as Eagle offensive lineman. So. The speculation now is he a is, is he a Hall of Fame guard? We don't know that as of right now, but he has been in the league since two thousand and and twelve. So from two thousand twelve two thousand twenty two, that's actually twelve years in the game. Think about it: 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's twelve years, twelve years in the game. So is he a Hall of Famer? All that, all that remains to be seen up until the NFL. And as finally get to talking about him because the Eagles don't have many offensive guards or offensive linemen in the Hall of Fame. I think like two or three of them in the Hall of Fame. It ain't many of them. It, the, the Titans, um, the 49ers, the Cowboys, the Pittsburgh Steelers, um, all these teams down Thorny, you have offensive linemen. In the NFL Hall of Fame, they got more offensive linemen than the Eagles do. Like I said, the Eagles got about two, maybe three offensive linemen in the Hall of Fame. About two or three, four as I know. But overall, if I'm bringing you guys now about Brandon Brooks, offensive guard of the Philadelphia Eagles, three time Pro Bowl, two time All Pro as an Eagle, Super Bowl winning championship with the Eagles. He It is speculated that he will be retiring after this season. Which is already old for us now. You know what I'm saying? So he did, I, he gave the he gave the organization his official word that he's retiring as an eagle. But man, so that's it for the do. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Location bell on top. So when I do a video for me to you for your enjoying and pleasure. This is your border green talents. Y'all enjoy y'all night. I'm hoping this the hope this the last final video for the night. I think it is because I made four four in one day. So. Um, it, it, it very, well, I, I got to do some activities to keep you guys, um, minds occupied. Like, I like doing videos, keep my mind occupied, but it is what it is. So, you guys enjoy your night. See y'all tomorrow. I know I say that in all my videos about y'all have a good day or have a good afternoon or good night. So, this should be the last one tonight. It should be. If not, I'm hoping it is tonight. If not, I'm going to do another video tomorrow about what I learned today. Right now it's it's um eleven it's almost eleven thirty so in my time but you guys have enjoyed enjoying your night peace enjoy I'm out.